you are here on a day when rahul gandhi is also trying perhaps to reclaim his stake in amethi and rahul ji i think it would uh, be very befitting for somebody who managed to lose as the national president of the congress party a seat that was conditioned and touted as the dynastic seat of the congress party the fact that he wants to just bypass it hurry through it speaks volumes secondly i believe that is mr gandhi thinks that he is extremely welcomed in amethi today you yourself were witness to the facts roads were empty that they had to ship in their supporters who could barely reach a number of 500 from sultanpur and pratapgarh thirdly they were dependent on akhilesh yadav to come and support them in amethi so imagine this this is supposedly once upon a time a congress bastion 50 years versus 5 years of a bjp karyakarta like me and the fact that mr gandhi today came and was not found welcome by the local citizens speaks volumes about the anger against him at the fact that akhilesh yadav has first of all decided not to join the yatra and second announced tickets for those 11 seats and many of which the congress wanted that is a conversation between the samajwadi party and the congress party but i think that one needs to recognize that when i came as a candidate of the bjp in 2014 mr gandhi fought against me i had just 22 days to fight that election his uh, following his support base was cut down to just a, a lakh vote of differences between me and him and in the year 2019 when mr gandhi fought again he did not have the courage to fight alone on a congress ticket he needed the support of samajwadi party and the bsp so the so called india alliance is something that i had the privilege of defeating in amethi in the year 2019 itself what the so called alliance which is falling apart at the seams does next is not either my responsibility or my privilege to uh, possibly reflect on but i can say this that someone who cannot keep a so called alliance together someone who is not deemed politically proficient enough to be called the leader of the alliance someone who has come to a so called bastion of five decades and cannot even find 5000 people to greet him i think uh, is indicative of the change that not only amethi but also raibareli has undergone well talking about raibareli the fact that mrs gandhi has decided to opt out of lok sabha speculation is that will it be rahul gandhi day or priyanka gandhi wadra i think that i was very uh, elaborate on uh, your channel when i said bhucha laega nobody could ever imagine that uh, gandhi would abdicate the seat of raibareli um i remember the 3 years ago i was received uh, i was in receipt of the responsibility of becoming the disha chairperson of raibareli there is a very latent anger in raibareli because the sansad the mp of amethi was constitutionally helping out the citizens of raibareli so there have been questions amongst the citizens about why if their representative can roam every part of india for their political purposes right. cannot find time to come to the constituency but that's for the people of raibareli to decide i can only say this that i had made a promise if you remember 5 years ago um, that it'll be a, a 50 years versus 5 year comparative my mother is not the chairperson of the alliance i do not have uh, friends who are uh, leveraging political contacts so that i can politically benefit and do um, a yatra with some european friends in amethi so that i can showcase the poverty of amethi in fact i was privileged that in the past 5 years we have seen uh, close to uh, 11000 crores worth of investment come here you meet me on a day 162 projects are kicking off worth 6523 crores in amethi we have the privilege now of a rifle factory which the prime minister was kind enough to give us as an opportunity to serve the indian armed forces with we have now the largest bottling plant of coca cola in south asia soon to become one of the 15 largest plants in the world uh, we have in the system of poultry and hatchery the biggest plant in uttar pradesh and we also have 8000 lakhpati didis okay and before i let you go the last question is one your house in your amethi sends out a message i'm here to stay one and second this sense of entitlement that you know i belong to a particular family and many people told me this kaam naam nahi kaam bolta hai you think these are the test cases when you emerge as a giant this is killer a promise that people wanted me to keep uh, it is a promise that uh, they extracted from me in 2019 
um, I am of the opinion that uh, every promise that I had made, I have fulfilled. And uh, instead of uh, me pontificating about how great a Sansad I've been in the past five years, I have assured the people of Amethi that with a population that swells over a period of time, challenges may come, I can give solutions, but I'll always be available to serve any challenge that they face. I can only say this while I'm grateful. Whoever told you, Kaam Bolta Hai, I'm grateful for their kindness. I conclusively can say ki five years ago, Rahul Gandhi ne Amethi chhoda tha. Aaj aap dekh paaye, Amethi ne Rahul Gandhi ko chhod diya.